Hello everybody. So today's video we will be talking about voltage and current division, why we use it, and when we use it. So say that we are given a, an electric circuit and we're already given what the total voltage is, the voltage source, and what the current is flowing through the circuit. Same thing for this circuit. Now sometimes there's going to be a question asking us, well what is the voltage and current through each particular resistors because what we do know is that either one of them has to be divided depending on how the resistors are formed. There's two basic ways are how resistors are formed either in series or are in parallel or a combination in both but if you don't know what uh, re resistors in series and parallels then I recommend you checking out my previous videos so the question is, what is the voltage and current in uh, each particular resistor? Well, in a series resistor, current is not divided, but voltage is divided. And let me just write it down here. Current is held constant and voltage is divided. In a uh, series where there are two or more resistors. So therefore the current that is flowing through R1 and R2 is going to be the same. But the voltage is going to be divided for each one of them. So say that we have V1 here and V2. These two voltages are going to be different and divided. So to find V1, what we do is we take the total voltage and, the, and then we multiply it by uh, the resistor across it and divide it by the sum of these two resistors. So uh, let me just clarify it up. So you take the total voltage, multiply by R1 divided by R1 plus R2. And that is how we find V1. Same thing goes for V2. We take the total voltage, multiply it by the resistor across it, R2, and then divide it by the sum of all the resistors together. Now how about parallel resistors? How is that different? Well, this time it's going to be the opposite of what series resistors are, and that is that current is divided and voltage is held constant. So the voltage across R3 and R4 is going to be held constant, and the current that is flowing through R3 and R4 are going to be divided. So say that we want to find the current flowing through R3. Now you may think that it follows the same mathematical operation as we had in uh, when we try to find the voltage for each particular resistor in our first circuit. So, um, well, it's going to be the opposite. We do take the total current, but then instead of multiplying uh, R3 as a numerator, we take the resistor across it, which is R4. And then we divide it by the sum of these two, which is R3 plus R4. And there we find I3. Same thing goes for I4. We take the total current, multiply it by the resistor across it, which is R3, and then divide it by R3 plus R4. And there we have our theoretical groundwork on how voltage and current division works. Okay, so what we have here is two examples on voltage and current division again. And here we're given that the total voltage is 5 volts and, and the total current is 2 amps in these two circuits. And R1 is equal to 2 ohms, R2 is equal to 1 ohm, R3 is equal to 1 ohm, and R4 is equal to 2 ohms. And the question is to find the current and voltage for all four resistors. So let's start off with the first circuit. So what we have right here is a series resistor. And what we do know is that 
current is going to be held constant no matter where it is flowing through. So uh, directly, simply speaking, I1 and I2 is essentially going to be equal to the total current, which is 2 amps. And we do know is that voltage is going to be divided in this situation. So we're going to use the equation that we had before on uh, how to find V1 and V2. So we take V1 and then uh, we take this total voltage, which is 5 volts, multiplied by the resistor across it, which is R1, and R1 is 2 ohms, divided by the sum of these two, which is 1 plus 2, R1 plus R2, and what we get is 10 over 3 volts. Same thing goes for V2. So V2 is equal to the total voltage multiplied by R2, which is 1, divided by the sum of these two, which is 1 plus 2, and we get 5 over 3 volts. And that is how we find the voltage uh, within each resistor. Now let's get to our second circuit, and this time we have a parallel, uh, we have resistors in parallel. And what we do know that voltage is held constant, therefore V3 and V4 is going to be equal is going to be equal to the total voltage. So V3 and V4 is equal to 5 volts. And then we have I3 and I4. And I3 and I4 is going to be divided. And we're going to use the equation that we have found before on how to find I3 and I4. So let's first find I3. So I3 is equal to the total current, which is 2 amps, multiplied by uh, the resistor that is not flowing through it, which is R4. Uh, so we have uh, an R4 is 2 ohms, and then we divide it by the sum of these two, which is 1 plus 2, and then we get 4 over 3 amps. Same thing goes for I4. So I4 we have the total current, and then multiplied by the resistor that is not flowing through it, which is R3, and R3 is 1 ohm, divided by 1 plus 2, and there we get 2 over 3 amps. And then uh, we have, uh, we're able to find all of our uh, elements for each resistor. And now to check if it is valid or not, what we do um, is that we take the sum of both of uh, the elements that has been divided and if you add them up together, it should equal to the total voltage or current that you have divided. So in this case, we have, uh, let's take a look at the first circuit, V. So if we take, if we add V1 and V2 together, it should equal to V. So what we do is we take 10 over 3 plus 5 over 3, and we get 15 over 3. And if we simplify them up, we get 5 volts. And that is equal to the total voltage. That basically means that our uh, elements are correct. Now let's go over to I3 and I4. If we take the sum of both of these two, which is uh, 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3, we essentially get 6 over 3, and we simplify that, we get 2 amps. And that again is equal to our total current. Therefore, it is correct. So this is what voltage and current division are, why we use it, and when we use it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here are some other videos that I would like to recommend you watching. You guys can enjoy the videos nodal analysis or mesh current analysis. And if you haven't watched all four other preliminary videos, wide delta transformation, series and parallel resistors, 
voltage and current division or Kirchhoff's laws, I recommend you guys watching those first before touching upon those two.